This is Jackie and I'm here with Rakeem Miles, day three of Firefly. You uh, you had a great set last night. I saw the video, got a little, how's your phone? It's uh, It actually, actually wasn't my phone. Even better. And then he just started jumping around and I was like, oh wow, it's getting stomped on. Yeah. Rest in peace, is, is it still? It's still alive, because he was texting me, so. It's amazing. He survived. Yeah. Shoot. Well, tell us about your newest track, Hardway. How did that come together and what inspired the writing? Um, I was actually working with this guy um, from a specific um, record label or whatever. And um, some things happened, you know, we went, you know, separate paths. And uh, what ended up happening is I got inspired from that situation and I made that song. You Turn a negative into a positive. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. Um, what inspires your other songwriting and who have you collaborated with recently? Just uh, well, Waka Flock I just collaborated with, which was amazing because that's my big bro and he helps me out with everything. So I'm like super excited that, um, you know, I just have him in my life and he's, you know, a big brother to me and he can help, you know, he's helping me navigate in this industry and just like teaching me a lot of things and um, gaining a lot of knowledge from him. Um, but uh, normally it just everything I make, I make music off of emotion, you know what I'm saying? However, I'm feeling that day, if I'm feeling sad, or if I'm feeling happy. Um, I can't really, I can't really put a song together unless I really do feel, um, you know, the beat. I have to feel the beat, then the lyrics come, and everything just comes together from there. So that's normally how. So if if you're writing something that's autobiographical about your own feelings, does it make it easy or difficult to perform those songs then? Oh, um, easy, very easy, because I real I feel it. You know what I mean? Like I actually. Uh, I regain the same exact emotion that I had when I made the song, when I'm actually performing the song. It's weird, but when I go to, re if I go and try to re-record, it's, I don't have that same energy, which is so weird. But when I'm performing it, everything comes back, the emotion, all that. So it's, it's pretty dope. Yeah. How did you go about choosing your set list for, for Firefly? Uh, my manager, because when we were all in Australia, uh, my songs were back to back, like all, they were all hype, like up-tempo songs. And we were like, you know what, we need to slow things down a little bit. And we need to have like slow songs in the middle, give people some time to like pace themselves, then jump back into the um, up tempo. So that's how we figured it out, how to like just make sure we have everything run smoothly, but also keep everyone interested, you know? I think it's important to. Yeah, you gotta pace yourself at a music festival. That's really smart. So, uh, with new music, uh, what role does music streaming have? Is it something that you focus on, or something that's sort of an added bonus? For sure, a hundred percent. Because playlisting is like the main thing. It's like over top of you know the blogs and stuff like that. You know, so um, I feel like that's the the best way for your, your the the people to actually find you know the music. You know. Yes. Who are you looking forward to seeing today? Um, I'm just here today. I actually don't really, I think Post Malone's going on today. Yeah, I was really here for Tyler, Travis, and Brock Hampton. Three really good sets from yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and also Snail Mail too. And JPEG. Okay. Yep. So, uh. Some good taste in music. Heck yeah. I hope so. I don't know. Do you like? I think those are all great acts. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I enjoyed watching those sets. So what's up next for you after Firefly? Um, I have an have an event with Urban Outfitters coming up on the 27th. I have Aaron Carter coming. I have uh, Waka coming out. A um, bunch of other you know special guests coming out. Um, I've been also working with. Um, I actually just like did a performance on Adult Swim a few months ago, or whatever. So we're trying to to work something in with Adult Swim as well. Um, I have my album coming up, Adult um, Action Figure Miles, and uh, that comes out July 12th. Yeah. Well, stay tuned for much more from Rakeem Miles. This is Jackie. Thanks in the key of change, Chorus FM and the vinyl.